Hello, Gemini. Happy, happy, happy New Year, January 2017. I have my sage going, so I'm going to sage up again. So some of the videos you'll see the sage going. But let me give you guys some sage. There you go. You can see the smoke going. And the Palo Santo right there. Okay. All right, so here we go. So let's see. We're pulling nine cards, and the first row is the beginning of January. Then the middle row is, of course, the middle of January. And the last row is the end of January. So let's see what these nine cards want to say. Gemini. First, you start out with, oh, wow, the Ten of Swords. Then you have, let's back this up. This is getting uh, quite interesting here. So that way you can see more. So it starts out with the Ten of Swords, the Emperor card. Then you have Ace of Staves. You're rising back up. A commitment, relationship. Ooh, you are finding your way. The star. Way to go. Knight of Cups. Ooh, the devil card. What's followed? <gasps> Lovers. Wow, what? And the king of swords. <laughs> okay, wow, this is a juicy story. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is all about, Gemini. Okay, so the ten of swords is about betrayal. So someone that is talking stuff, saying things they shouldn't say. Um, you know, people put their own spin on things and... Even if it is what it is, it's better left unsaid. So there's some form of betrayal by someone that you know, Ten of Swords. This person might, might have some form of power, so the Emperor card. So the Emperor is kind of like, um, like an animal that, like an eagle or or a goat or a mountain ram, something like that, or that 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 sees their territory. They they see the big terrain, right? So the emperor is very good, very good in that they see things, they plan ahead, and they're very strategic. So this is very good. Okay, so whoever this person is, the emperor card, it's um someone that is is um very knowledgeable and have and has their own uh, sense of themselves and very powerful in their own way they're they, they, they they're not they're king of their own domain they're emperor so not a king but an emperor so it's very huge right so and incorporate that kind of energy for yourself and but the most important thing for you is that you have the ace of staves and this is like a hand reaching out of the sky like the hand of god and you're it's like grabbing that staff so it's like it's saying that if anything is possible just believe so move forward from this so the first week of january the beginning of january then the middle has the two of cups and this is marriage commitment so you have supporters you have people in your life that love you so this is like even if you're not physically married or you could be physically married but there's a commitment there could be a partnership that's going to be wonderful and it, this is aligning you with with what you're here to do your life purpose your destiny the star card is like figuring out what you really like what you're passionate about what you want to do so regardless of what is going on because it starts out like a a novel right uh, and here now you have the the knight of cups the knight of cups always is like a ninja it's like a warrior right but you see that that um that dove right here skills i'm using my little pinky finger <laughs> the little dove right there it's offering peace but it's still a knight okay it still has this shield of protection okay and it's it, it the, the knight right here has this mask it's shield right here so you're not wearing you're not being two-faced you're not wearing a mask you're just being yourself you have a a, a cup in your hand so you you are offering peace but you know your 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 worth your value you are a knight you are a warrior you're a fighter but you're still peaceful so you're always offering peace in every situation so don't hold on to any of the backstabbing or the the um 
the jealousy or the pettiness. You're you're beyond that. You're trying to be a, your own creator and creating things and having fun. Now the end of January has the devil card. So the devil card represents to a lot of people anger or the opposite of um, whatever is going on, the norm, so to speak. So make sure that you don't have a lot of anger in you over anything. Um, don't worry about anything. Don't be upset about anything. Um, use the, Turn that power in a positive way. To, the devil card can represent taking in um, your own power, your own control, and making things happen. So the other hand of it is really um, focusing your energy on what you have to do. You can't worry about what other people are thinking or doing. Just focus on what you need to do for yourself. And at the end of the month, the lovers. So someone is making you feel wonderful. So it's like you are receiving the love and attention from someone that cares about you. And I love when you have the two of cups and the lovers because the person that truly cares about you, they're also your lover and they care about you. And they're making you feel wonderful um, in January, end of January. And the King of Swords. So the King of Swords, you're, you're, you started out with the Nine of Swords, which is like backstabbing, right? But then you end like a King of Swords, which is, this is one of my favorite kings because he has the lion flanking him on the left and the right. And the sword is like the throat chakra, the voice. So you will rise with your voice and you're not answering to the pettiness. You're just being your brilliant self. You're taking in the power of spirit. It's like earth, air, the, the all the elements, the water, the fire, the, the metal. You know, you're just taking in all that energy and you're focusing on yourself and and, and what makes you happy in the star card is at the, the center of it. The star card, she is saying, what is your life purpose? Focus on that. Don't worry about the negativity. And you're ending it like a king, okay? And the king is the sword, the air. And we have butterflies in this card, all these symbolism. You know, the symbolism is so powerful. Um, I was watching this documentary how the ancient Egyptians, you know, why did why why didn't they write a language? Why did they use all these symbolism? Because they they realized long before we started our logos and all these symbolism that people remember thing by a symbol. You remember YouTube by a symbol. You know what 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 Twitter is by a symbol. You know what Facebook is by a symbol. So in this card, I put a lot of symbolism in this transformation at the end of Jan January for you. Um, Gemini, it all comes around in full circle. The symbolism of the lion, the strength, right? You're the king of your own jungle. Find your own place in the world. You know, find yourself. The star card is there telling you your your destiny. You have the sword for language, for, for words. Um, you're not even looking straight ahead. You're not even focused on, on the BS in front of you. You're just having your mind focus on other things, Gemini. You have the crescent moon there you have the butterfly transformation the sky in the background you're above all the the the, the gossip and the negativity and the the bs you're just moving forward and i love that there's an angel right there behind him you can see the angel the statue of the angel that higher self that knowledge that guidance the archangels um just being guided by 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 um the angels and 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 the, the the influence and the guidance and the protection so beautiful beautiful card i gotta just hold up the king so this is the king of swords and this is just reminding you that you are powerful in your own right and things are working out for you all right it's a little bit of glare from the light above but um i just want to end it on a positive note so Gemini air sign have a beautiful January and 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 even look up what learn from the, the ten of swords. Um, I feel that stands out. Learn from the emperor. Learn from the ace of staves. Learn from two of cups. And the two of cups is good, but I think this the, the standout cards is the ten of swords to learn from. Um, the emperor. Learn from the ace of staves. Learn from the star card. Learn from the knight of cups. Um, 
and, and definitely learn from the devil card and, 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 and absolutely learn from the king of swords. So it starts out with ten of swords and you end with, with the king of swords. You know, ten, ten swords stabbing you in your back, but you, but, 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 you know, you, 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 you end it all with a king of swords, okay? You're above the BS, you're above the nonsense, the negative energy, the pettiness, um, and you're a natural collaborator, so, you know, focus on your own energy first, but everything else will fall into place, Gemini, so be grounded and be focused, okay? Blessings, blessings, blessings for the new year, Gemini. Be strong, be balanced, be fair, um, be great. Believe in yourself and happy new year. And be good to yourself, be good to everyone around you. Most definitely, namaste.